Yeah, hi there, Sandra. This is Michael. I'm the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. Let's take a look at your situation. Uh, you have a 79. You want to score at least 100, right? So you're looking to get about 25 points or higher in each section. So you have to take the TOEFL as soon as possible. I have to apply for a scholarship on the 29th of April. Um, my opinion is, <coughs> of course, you can use my online course however you want, but my opinion is, is you're not giving yourself enough time. Uh, I recommend at least three to four months for you to work on your language issues right now. I don't think uh, the 29th of April, that gives you about 22 days. That's not enough time to solve the problems that you have. Uh, most students, Sandra, they improve their TOEFL scores about five to ten points for each month that they study TOEFL. So to, to, to try to improve faster than that is really, really difficult to do now. It's possible, but not very likely. In fact, um, I had a student one time, she worked really, really hard. Her score was already over 90. The only thing she needed to do was to increase her speaking score four points. She needed to go from 22 to 26. <coughs> it took her 90 days just to improve four points. So it, it is a long road. It takes work here. Now let me answer the different questions. So which are the requirements to take the course? Uh, I don't really have any requirements. My recommendation is you are at least intermediate level uh, in your English proficiency, so you're fine. You have no problems there. Uh, how are the exercises evaluated in the class is your next question. The vocabulary, grammar, reading and listening practice test are evaluated directly, automatically by my website. So you complete the test. You put score, it'll check your answers immediately so you can measure your progress. Now for the pronunciation, speaking and writing practice tests, it's more complicated. Uh, either I or one of my IBT specialists will either listen or read your practice test and then we'll get your score back in about 24 hours. For example, this morning, Sandra, uh, I have about 10 speaking practice tests that I have to score at my Voxipop discussion group. My Voxipop discussion group is where my students post the responses to my practice test for my website. So I think it's a combination of you completing uh, a lot of lessons and exercises and then either getting your feedback directly by my website or getting feedback from me or from one of my IBT uh, speaking or writing specialist and then you begin to make some changes and study some recommended lessons you'll take some more practice tests to measure your progress and the way my website is set up is it's a skill building website it helps develop your vocabulary your pronunciation your grammar proficiency it also helps with your listening and your reading and also the most popular uh, parts of my website are the speaking and the writing areas of my site so that's kind of how it works. Uh, for your listening, I do have about 40 different listening practice tests. I also have several different skill building lessons to help you improve your listening and to give you some good tips on uh, how you can improve. But the bottom line is, in the reading and the listening areas, you really have to do a lot of work on your own. You don't need an online course. You don't even need a TOEFL book. But what you need is, is regular practice with the English language. So for listening, make sure you're watching uh, TV, watch movies, news programs, history programs, documentary programs, and most importantly, watch science programs. That's going to give you some really good vocabulary. So I think that's going to be important for you. Uh, also, from the reading end, you want to make sure on a regular basis each day you want to be reading magazines, newspapers, and longer books. And my recommendation is, and this doesn't count what you spend at my website, but I would spend at least about 45 minutes to an hour a day practicing listening, just listening to normal type things that native speakers listen to. 
And then number two, spend time reading about an hour a day, following the suggestions I just gave you. So you can do this, but I don't think you can reach your goal by the 29th of April. I see you as about a three or four month student. Uh, it's going to take some time, consistency, over a regular period of time for you to get your results. So think of it this way. Uh, let's say that you are a runner and you want to run a marathon, right? And then you come to me and say, hey, Michael, I want to run a marathon. My marathon is April 29th. Can you prepare me in 22 days to run a 42 kilometer marathon? I'm going to say, no, I don't think I can do that. So I think that's a little bit uh, too ambitious. Remember the TOEFL, it takes five and a half hours it requires very advanced vocabulary knowledge. You have to have a very strong writing and um, speaking proficiency. And obviously, you have to read quickly. For example, if you want to improve your reading, you, know, you really have to work on developing your vocabulary. You have to increase your reading speed to about 300 words a minute. You want to make sure you're familiar with the IBT uh, reading test taking strategies. And you even want to read or take TOEFL level reading practice test and mark your scores and see your improvement. All right. Anyway, Sandra, thank you very much for all your comments. I hope in this video I've given you some information about my online course. If you think it's right for you, I'd love to have you as one of my students. Remember, take some time to build your English proficiency because if you want to go from 79 to 100, it does take time and a lot of effort to do that, but you can do this. Just last quarter, or just last month, I've had at least three of my students who scored over 100 uh, on the TOEFL IBT. So it is possible, and you can do it. It just takes time, practice, and a lot, a lot of motivation. All right, and once you become one of my students, if you ever have questions, don't be afraid to send me an email and ask me, and I will try to help you as quickly as I can.